On this episode of China Uncensored, ever wonder how China's internet became so censored? You can thank this guy. Welcome back. I'm Chris Chappell. The internet's got a new loser. Just look at him. No, not Mark Zuckerberg from Facebook. I mean the happy guy in the chair. That's Liu Wei, China's internet czar. Well, former internet czar. That photo's from 2014. He's not so happy anymore. Because Liu Wei is the latest high-ranking official Chinese leader Xi Jinping has taken down in his ongoing purge of political opponents, what he calls the anti-corruption campaign. According to this announcement, Liu Wei has been accused of seriously violating party discipline. Which basically means he's as good as convicted, expelled from the Communist Party, and destined for prison. Sorry, Mark Zuckerberg. If you were trying to get Facebook into China, you chose the wrong guy to zuck up to. Once upon a time, Liu Wei was basically the ruler of China's internet. The guy responsible for earning China the coveted title of Freedom House's worst abuser of internet freedom for three years in a row. That's a way less controversial title, by the way, than People's Sexiest Man Alive. I'm with the Houston Chronicle on this one. Kim Jong-un is still waiting for your call, People Magazine. Anyway, yes, China is officially the three-time consecutive champion of worst internet freedom. Take that, Syria. Wait, Syria still has internet? Uh, but back to Liu Wei. The Guardian describes him as the powerful and flamboyant former head of China's Cyberspace Administration. That was the administration that oversaw internet censorship. Liu was certainly powerful, but flamboyant? I mean, he loved to get photo ops with Western tech giants kissing up to him, like Facebook's Mark Zuckerberg, Apple's Tim Cook, and Amazon's Jeff Bezos. I think it's more like he's kind of crazy. He said freedom and order are twin sisters, which would make sense if he was trying to argue that free countries are more stable, which is usually true. But I think he was using that to justify China's heavy-handed internet censorship. But you know what? That makes sense because, get this, there's no internet censorship in China. Yes, China's top internet censor says there's no internet censorship. He claims the internet is simply managed. Which is like selling cruelty-free beef and saying the cows weren't slaughtered, they were just massaged to death. So it should be no surprise that Liu Wei is the same guy who once hired a famous songwriter to write the song Cyberspace Spirit. Wow, that's pretty catchy, in a creepy Soviet way. I hope I don't get that stuck in my head. And if that song's not crazy enough, Liu Wei also allegedly went to parties serving human breast milk. Liu Wei also did some practical things, like spearheading China's plan to eliminate VPNs, the special software that allows Chinese netizens to get through the Great Firewall of China and access the real internet. And when Liu Wei was in charge of the Cyberspace Administration of China, he oversaw the early drafts of the now infamous cybersecurity law that requires foreign companies to store their user data inside China and give the Chinese Communist Party full access to that Chinese user data. Under Liu Wei, the Chinese regime's grip on social media tightened. Internet users had to register with their real names. And that means no fake Twitter accounts. We know who you are. Anakin Skywalker. Also, Liu Wei banned all of Twitter. Of course, if you're on the Chinese internet, you won't hear much about the fall of Liu Wei, because the Chinese internet is, of course, massively censored. I mean massaged. I mean managed. China Digital Times discovered this propaganda department directive that orders media to censor slash manage all comments about Liu Wei. It's almost poetic how his downfall is being censored by the very apparatus that he built. What's that, Shelley? We have video of the propaganda directive? 
go ahead. Okay, okay, you got me. Man, that song is catchy. Yeah, where was I? Oh, right. As I mentioned earlier, the fall of Liu Wei is tied into Chinese leader Xi Jinping's battle against his political opponents, a loosely tied faction under former Chinese leader Jiang Zemin. Sorry, wrong toad. The resemblance is uncanny. So Liu Wei was deeply enmeshed in the propaganda wing of the Communist Party, the guys responsible for making the party look good. In other words, miracle workers. Somewhat inept miracle workers. For two decades, Liu Wei served as party secretary of the state-run Xinhua News Agency, and Beijing's propaganda chief eventually making it up to deputy head of the CCP's Central Propaganda Department. That means he worked under the head of party propaganda, Liu Yunshan. Liu was one of the highest ranking members of Jiang Zemin's faction and used his clout to undermine Xi. If you want to learn more about Liu Yunshan, watch my previous episode online, Who Controls China's Propaganda? Xi Jinping has been trying to wrestle control of the party's propaganda from the Jiang Zemin faction, especially when it comes to the internet. That's why Xi Jinping gave himself so many fancy new titles like head of the Central Leading Group for Internet Security and Information. A year ago, Liu Wei was mysteriously fired from the Cyberspace Administration of China and Xi Jinping appointed his own guy to replace him. Now, Liu Wei has been detained, and several of Liu's associates and officials in charge of regulating online services have also been taken into custody. What's that, Shelley? We have video of Liu Wei's confession? Wow! Yes, I want to see it! Hey! Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on you. Twice. But back to Liu Wei. State-run media isn't being kind to him. The Global Times wrote, Liu was a typical two-faced person, as he severely deviated from party principle and ruined the image of the cyberspace administration team and harmed the development of cyberspace. Which really doesn't make much sense if you think about it. Liu Wei did exactly what the Communist Party wanted as far as censoring the internet. And even though he was fired a year ago, there hasn't exactly been a big push to undo all the controls he put in place. The internet will continue to be managed to the benefit of the Communist Party. But undoing Liu Wei's work is not what the investigation of him is about. If previous purges of high-ranking officials are any indication, I wouldn't be surprised if Xi Jinping is ultimately making his way for Liu Yunshan. Because even as Liu's former Xinhua news agency turns on him, one thing is clear. Xi Jinping's anti-corruption campaign is not winding down. And neither is internet censorship, just so we're clear on that. And Liu Wei's downfall offers yet another example of why doing business in China is risky business. Remember that photo of Liu and Mark Zuckerberg? All that hard work spent developing a relationship with someone who ended up on the wrong side of a political purge. Now, Zuckerberg will have to start all over again with the new internet czar. What a waste. Kind of like when former Canadian Prime Minister Stephen Harper met with disgraced Chinese official and proud Jiang faction member Bo Xilai right at the beginning of Bo's downfall back in 2012. Which was dumb. But maybe things will work out better for Mark Zuckerberg. After all, according to Chinese state-run media, he did spend his time with Liu Wei praising Xi Jinping's book that was conveniently and prominently placed on a desk. He even told Liu that he bought the book for his co-workers too. What a boss. Yes, Shelley? We have video of Liu talking to Zuckerberg? <laughs> nice try. I'm not falling for that again. What? You promise that it's not that cyberspace spirit song? Okay, fine. Roll it. That is the first time I've been happy about being Rickrolled. Thanks, Shelley. What do you think of the fall of Liu Wei? And do you have cyberspace spirit? Leave your comments below. Thanks for watching this episode of China Uncensored. Once again, I'm your host, Chris Chappell. See you next time.
Aren't you happy that you have access to an uncensored internet? Well, depending on what happens with net neutrality at least. But why not celebrate your uncensored internet by visiting ChinaUncensored.tv? There you can see full half-hour episodes that you won't see on YouTube, and definitely not in China. Once again, that's ChinaUncensored.tv.